Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 54, Spiral Matrix. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I've taken the first example from the Likud website. So here we are given a matrix where we need to print this matrix in a single array form, right? Initially, we need to traverse the matrix in the right side then when we reach the end of the matrix we need to traverse downwards right then when we reach down we need to traverse leftwards so when we reach the leftmost element we need to move upward so when we hit the upmost element we need to again traverse through the right side right we need to continue this process until we print all the elements right so here we have four variables where we initially stop as zero which is nothing but zeroth row right the first row and bottom is initialized as two which is nothing but the last row index that is two and left is initialized as zero which is nothing but the leftmost column right that is zero and rightmost column is two in this case right so now we need to traverse through the right side. We need to print all the elements by traversing the right side first, right? So here I will write a loop where I will start from left to right. That is 0 to 2 in this case. So this represents the column that I am going to traverse. So I just need to keep the row constant. I need to change the column. So here row represents top. So this will be constant. This we won't change. So basically we are going to print the element by keeping the row constants that is top. And we will write a loop where I will change the column alone. So initially it will be 0 and 0. So I will print 1, basically I will append 1, then we are going to change the column alone to 1, we are writing a loop from 0 to 2, that is left to right, right? So 0 through first column is 2, so we will append 2 through the result, then we will change the column to 2, then we will append 3. So after finishing this row, we need to move to the next row, right? So we will increase top by 1, which means I have done with all the elements in the first row. So now we need to traverse downwards. So to traverse downwards, we need to traverse from top to bottom, right? So we need to traverse from top to bottom. So I will write a loop from top to bottom. So in this case, it will start from first row to second row. So now we are seeing the effectiveness of the increment of one in top. The reason why we increased is we should not repeat the values, right? Since we have already appended three, we don't have to print three again. So we are going to start from here, right? So the next loop starts from 1 to 2. So in this case, we can see that, right? We need to keep the column constant and we need to move only the row. So we will print the elements by the ith row. This i will be changing by using the loop and the right will be constant. So the right is 2 here. So if I do that, we will print 6 and 9. We are going to start from 1, from first row, right? So after finishing this, we need to decrease right by 1. So right becomes 1 now. So again, the reason why we are reducing 1 is because we should not repeat 9 when we traverse in the left side, right? So next we need to traverse in the left. So when we are traversing left, we need to start from right to left. 
so basically we are just moving the direction this is right to left right so when moving from right to left we are just keeping the bottom constant here so we are only moving the columns so we will print the elements by by keeping the bottom row and i will be the variable where i will change only the i so this loop will run from right to left right so this will decrease right this loop will run in decreasing order so it starts from 1 then it decreases to 0 so what i mean by that is so we are going to keep the bottom constant that is the second row and it starts from 1 right is 1 right so in this case second row first column is 8 so we are going to print 8 then we need to reduce this 1 to 0 in order to print the value 7 so next we will print 7 right so after finishing the bottom we need to decrease bottom by 1 so bottom becomes 1 now now we need to move upwards so in this case we need to move from bottom to top so the loop will start from 1 to 1 and in this case we need to keep the leftmost column constant so we will print the elements in the matrix by by changing the rows only and by keeping the left constant and here also the loop will be decreasing we are going to reduce by one so this i will be decreasing because we are moving from backwards right so we need to reduce the row since we have already printed seven we are going to print four and we are done with all the values here right we should not repeat 1. We have to move rightwards again from 4. So we will write another loop to do these operations until I print all my values in the matrix. Right? So the time complexity will be order of m into n and space will be m plus n. Right? That's how the logic is. Now we will see the code. So before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Now also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So here if the matrix is empty, we are just going to return the empty array. Then we are initializing result list where we will be storing our answers. Then rows and columns are initialized. Then I'm initializing the top, left, bottom and right. Then I will write a while loop where I will run the while loop until the top is less than equal to bottom and left is less than equal to right. Right? So at first I need to traverse rightwards. So to traverse in the rightwards, we need to traverse from left to right by keeping the top constant and column as variable by keeping top constant. So we are printing the values here. So after we done with the row, we need to increase the top by 1. So next we need to traverse in the down direction. So we are going to traverse from top to bottom. So here we are keeping the right column, the rightmost column as constant and the row will be varying, right? So after printing the all the elements in the rightmost column, we need to reduce the right by 1. Then we need to traverse in the left direction by keeping the bottom row constant, right? So after we done with the bottom row, we need to reduce bottom row by 1. So the reason why we are checking top is less than equal to bottom is that we are just avoiding the out of index range, right? Then we need to traverse in the upward direction. So to traverse in the upward direction, we need to traverse from bottom to top so in this case we are going to keep left column as the leftmost column as constant after that we will increase the left by one then we need to repeat the process until we print all the elements in the matrix and finally we need to return result that's how the code is now we will run the code so the time complexity will be order of m into n and space will be m plus n right 
Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.